A year ago, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations criticized the U.N. Human Rights Council for what she called its hypocritical behavior. And Nikki Haley said the U.S. would quit the council if it didn't change its ways. It's hard to accept that this council has never considered a resolution on Venezuela, and yet it adopted five biased resolutions in March against a single country, Israel. It is essential that this council address its chronic anti-Israel bias if it is to have any credibility. It is correct to criticize the state of Israel for its actions. As said by Rabbi Lutz, you can, you can challenge the Israeli government's policies without being anti-Semitic. Comments such as this, a permanent agenda item investigating Israel's treatment of Palestinians, and the U.S.'s recent failure to prevent the U.N. General Assembly from condemning Israel's use of force in Gaza finally made the Trump administration say enough on Tuesday. But when organizations undermine our national interests and our allies, we will not be complicit. When they seek to infringe on our national sovereignty, we will not be silent. We take this step because our commitment does not allow us to remain a part of a hypocritical and self-serving organization that makes a mockery of human rights. We could have withdrawn immediately. We did not do that. Instead, we made a good faith effort to resolve the problems. The U.S. has had a troubled relationship with the Council. When it was set up in 2006, President George Bush refused to join because he feared countries with poor human rights records would be able to sit on a panel intended to punish human rights violators. Key in Bush's decision making, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. at the time, John Bolton. He's now President Trump's national security advisor. President Barack Obama then joined the council in 2009. He argued the U.S. would have more influence and give Israel more protection from negative resolutions in the process. Now the U.S. is leaving the council again, and that has human rights groups around the world very concerned. They fear that without the American presence on the council, it will be much less able to hold countries such as Russia, Syria, or North Korea accountable for the mistreatment of their citizens. It's also not clear how long Washington plans to stay away from the Human Rights Council. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, the State Department.